The thing I want to talk about today are moles, but not the animal kind and not the ones you have in your face, but the, the chemical moles. So a mole is kind of a unit that chemists use to measure things or to talk about certain quantities. So like if you were going to do a reaction, you would put in one mole of substance X and maybe two moles of substance Y and you would get something, I don't know, whatever. Um, and lots of people have problems with this, with this word, um, understanding what it means, even though it's a pretty simple idea. So something that lots of people um, understand is a dozen eggs. So a dozen eggs is like a carton full with Twelve eggs. We have a um, a word for that number called dozen. So if you were to bake a cake with a dozen eggs, um, you basically understand what we mean. And a mole is nothing different except the number is a lot larger. So um, one mole equals. 6.022 uh, times 10 to the power of 23. So the reason we write it this way is because that's a whole lot of zeros. So if you were to write it with all the zeros, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 23. So lots and lots of zeros. And this is the easier way to write it, and that's the way we use it. So, of course, um, it's not just randomly that number. The, um, there's a specific reason. And to, do, um, to understand that, we have to look at the weight uh, of one atom. So because this is basically what we're talking about. Say we could, instead of um, writing one mole x and one, two moles y, we could say, for example, we're having oxygen react with hydrogen uh, to make water. So and we know we need two, uh, two hydrogen atoms, one oxygen to make one water. So this would be, um, if we're going to do this properly, we would do it this way. All right, so this is like a very typical reaction you'd have in your chemistry textbook. And um, the question is, how does the, the mole help us? Well, as a chemist, I will say, let's take one mole oxygen, two mole hydrogen, and then I could get onto my scale And um, I could measure the hydrogens here and the oxygens here. And um, measure it in grams, which is a lot more comfortable for most of us. OK. So one hydrogen has the weight of one U. That's one atomic unit. And uh, what we want to measure is, say, one gram. And the relationship between one U and one gram is exactly that one U times 6.22 times 10 to the power of 23 equals one gram. And that's the magic of the mole. Okay, I guess I'm done for now. <laughs>